Today, lads, we are checking out the best tiki taka formation in FC24. It's the 4 3 3, the false nine, the fifth variation. Let's get into it. We are cheap, safe, and reliable FC24 coins. Head over to U7 Buy. They have the best service and some of the cheapest coins around. You can also save yourself a cheeky 6% off when you use my creator code ARP at checkout. Jeez. So diving in with their tactics, lads, and it sets out as you can see it on your screen. Uh, defensive style on balanced width on 45. It just tucks those full backs in nicely and keeps everything tight at the back. Depth on 60. Just use whatever you prefer in this formation, lads. Uh, if you use 65, use 65. If you use 55, use 55. Just use whatever your favorite depth is. Slow build up and direct passing, lads. I like slow build up for this formation because I really like to build up. It's a tiki taka formation. It's built around passing, so building up slow is nice. Although, if you are struggling with the slow build up, lads, because I know some of you like to rush it forward, balanced is fine. Balance will work fine for you if you like balance, but slow build up for me in this formation. I'm trying to use some different stuff, you know, just trying to play a different way. Uh, width on 40, players in the box on five. We don't want to overcommit. We'll get those three, the wingers and the striker involved. Um, but we don't want to overcommit too much. Corner three, free kicks two. Did you know 84% of people watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel? So if you are enjoying, remember to leave a like and sub to the channel if you are new. So diving in with the player instructions, lads, and we'll start with the striker. Ronaldo for me, but it can be whoever you want. I do recommend, lads, they have some decent passing stats um, or aren't too clunky, like decent on the ball. But I just have... Completely balanced, lads. We don't put any instructions on this guy. We just let him do whatever the AI wants him to do. And his, his team of the season, Cristiano Ronaldo, lads, he is a joke. So he'll just absolutely carry us. <laughs> no, he's, he's insane. Dupe theory going crazy, though. Pack team of the year and pack team of the season. Mental stuff. But you can use whoever you want. It is nice to have an aerial threat, as I said in a lot of, a lot of the recent videos. Having someone that can win the knockdowns for you, as well as, you know, uh, assist with the corners, is very, very useful. The two wingers are on similar but different instructions. We've got the left winger, which is on stay forward, cut inside, get in behind and get into the box for crosses. So this can be more of an attacking forward. He's almost going to play like a second striker. So I recommend, lads, if you, you're going to use these wingers, that they are like strikers and they can score. Griezmann's insane. Saka for me is insane. I don't know why I got him from 82 plus PP. Um, but treat them like forwards, lads. The difference between the wingers and your striker is that they should be able to create as well. So having some crossing traits, um, some really good passing play styles is nice. Or just having generally good build at play with the um, with the passing stats on the face card. Um, so Griezmann is going to pretty much stay forward for me in my left wing. Um, and then my right wing is come back on defense. He's going to help us defend in the almighty 4-4-2. Cut inside and come short. So this guy is more of a creator. He'll fall apart of our midfield, especially when we turn over the ball in transition. He'll be there showing feet, coming short. And then when we're attacking, he'll cut inside and with Saka, his finesse shots, lads. If you have someone odd with left footed or five star weak foot with a finesse shot in this position, lads, it's so sweet. It is so, so sweet. Um, and that's it. We don't have get into the box for crosses. We just have balance, lads. Um, he will still get into the box for crosses, but it's a, he'll do a bit of everything. He'll stay on the edge of the box. He'll get into the box. He'll show wherever um, the space is, um, especially because he's going to be a lot of the a lot of the time. Frankie will receive the ball and Saka will receive that that out pass for us, which is nice. Um, diving in with the centre mids, lads. Um, we have one that is stay back while attacking, stay on edge of the box and cover centre, and then our other wing, our other actually winger, our other midfielder is stay on edge of the box and cover wing and just on basic. So one of them is going to be more of a defensive pivot and then the other is going to be more like an attacking center mid it is nice lads if your attacking center mid has some defensive attributes as well javi simmons perfect example of this he's pretty much a forward but he's got some decent defensive stats as well as saka it was a toss-up between the two but i think saka going forward is a bit better than simmons and plus simmons got high high work rate so lads get him then if you've not got him because he's perfect in this attacking attacking center mid position because he got high high work rate so he'll work well forward he'll work well backwards and he's physically strong got good passing play styles and these two guys essentially you want them to be box to box midfielders lads you want them to be able to do a bit of everything but your attacking midfielder should be a bit more capable in front of goal whereas frankie Dion, he's not bad in front of goal but his main job is to pick up the play create um and just 
hold down that midfield when we lose the ball as well. Our CDM, now we've gone out and out CDM, lads. We want them to be able to play football. It's a tiki-taka formation at the end of the day, lads. You want to be able to play football. Zuby Mendy, if you did him, insane, lads. Anticipate plus, intercept plus, and incisive pass plus. And he's got a load of other um, if the base play styles, which are insane. Great card. Great, great, great card. And with that upgrade he got today, he's just, he's top tier, lads. And if we get, hopefully we get a, um, a an upgrade for the um, the showdown cards again. He'd be going straight into that for me. He's so, so nice. And he's just on stay back while attacking cover center and deep line playmaker. I love deep line playmaker, especially when you're on slow build up because your players aren't going to rush forward as much. So you're going to just have to build out a bit more and having a player in the CDM position that drops deep and shows their feet. It's really useful, lads. Um, a play style that I love in this position that Zuby Mandy doesn't have that Busquets does is long ball plus or long ball. He, he players with long ball plus in this position, especially on deep line playmaker. The way they can find the wings with that play style is insane. I've always got a Rao home Cancelo that have it. And I like to have a one or two cards in the team that have that long ball plus because it gives you that kind of ability to switch the play or change the change the pace of the way you attack. And again, like it's all about being unpredictable. Center backs, touch them. I will find you. I will find you. Unless you're dunking on your position off corners, don't touch them, lads. Goalkeeper is balanced. We leave him as he is. Uh, our left back is stay back while attacking and overlap because our left winger is our attacking winger or, or and our left centre mid is our attacking centre mid. You don't want your attacking fullback to be on the same side as your attacking centre mid, lads. So if you flip this formation and you have your right centre mid as your attacking centre mid, you want your left back going forward not your right back and moving on to that our right back is our attacking fullback with balanced and overlap so because javi simmons is our attacking centre they're on the opposite side so if they're on the same side you'll get a balance issue when for i can say if i had jao cancelo going forward and javi simmons they would leave a massive pocket of a space for someone if they're good they'll realize there's a pocket of space and they'll attack that area for the entire game whereas when simmons goes forward you've kind of got cancelo covers the back space and then you've got Frimpong that goes forward then. And when he goes forward, Frankie De Jong is covering the space he leaves. But that is the 4-3-3 Fast 9, lads. One of my favorites. I just love a 4-3-3 if I'm honest, lads. It's just, it's just, it's just so fun to use. Leave me in the comments if you use it though, and I'll catch you in another one. Cheers!